Hi, it's Zoe. I get to teach you the second sight word that you're going to learn today. And Miss Polly Pocket is going to help us. Come on, uh, come on over, Polly. Uh, hello, Zoe. Thank you very much for inviting me to come and help today. I'm so excited. Uh-huh. Okay, now, we have our second sight word that we're going to learn. Correct, Zoe? Now, do you see it right here in my pocket? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to pull it out. All right, let's take a look and see what it says. Oh, oh, it's upside down. So you the turn that around. Okay, now Zoe, are you ready? Can you read it for the boys and girls? What does it say? It says C. Boys and girls, read it with me. C. I can spell. I, I, I can. I can spell it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead now. Go ahead. Spell it. You should be proud of yourself. Now, Zoe, let's let the, the boys and girls read it. Ready, boys and girls? Go ahead, read it. You said C. Very good. One more time. C. Now, let's spell it. Ready? S-E-E. -E. Oh, are you excited to do the next part, Zoe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you know what to do, Zoe. If you can look inside of my little cup here and see if you can find the word C, boys and girls. Do you see it? There's lots of sight words in there. Um, oh, there's lots of sight words in here. Um, oh, 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 I see it right there. It's, or it's orange. Yes, oh, Zoe, very good job seeing it. Uh, look, I see, oh. I see. <laughs> I see the sight word C. <laughs> yes. Okay. So here we go. There it is. S E E. Now, Zoe, let's go ahead and use this in a sentence, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. I, I will go first. I see the boys and girls. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Now, now Zoe, you go next. Here we go. Okay. Um, I see my dog. Oh, that was a very good sentence. Now, boys and girls, do you think that you could do one? Let's listen. Let's listen. Listen, Zoe. Let them do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make a sentence. Oh, if I did give you enough time, please pause the video. Oh, boys and girls, good, good, good practice. Okay, now, Zoe, if you remember right, you're going to hold this for me for just a minute. Thank you. You've got that. And I have my other little pocket that has an S. Now, the reason why is because C starts with S. So we're going to add this to our word wall. Okay, now, Zoe, I want you to go right on over there where we have our word wall. I want you to get ready. Go on, go on. Now, while she's getting herself situated, we are going to put the word C into our S pocket. Because, do you see, C starts with S. So we're going to put it into the S pocket. Oh, Okey-dokey now, put it right inside of there and let's come on over to the word wall. Here we go. Here is our S right here. So when we need to find a word that starts with S, we find the S pocket and inside you see there is our sight word C. That will be very helpful for us and I know that we hopefully will be using that pocket soon someday. Now, let's come over here to our other word wall. Do you see it right here? And we have our alphabet and I'm going to add our sight word right here. We're going to add this one up on the wall. Which letter am I going to put it under? Which one, boys and girls? Which one? If you said S, you are correct. S, right there. I'm going to add it straight away. I will be back in a moment. Now you can see just used that word. <laughs> we added it to our word wall and we put it under the letter S because C starts with S. Boys and girls, for your practice, you will be coloring in the word C right here, S-E-E, -E, and you will be writing it down here, just like we did yesterday with our word I. Now, you can practice like I showed you yesterday. You can practice with your whiteboard. Yesterday we did I and today we are going to do C. 
So one thing that you could do is you could erase it and you could just practice C. Okay, like this. How do we spell C? S. Make sure you go under the bumpy line. E and E. C. That is one way that you could do it. Or you could add the word we had yesterday. I. Put a little finger there and put the word C right here. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. I see. That looks like the beginning of a sentence. Oh, that is fabulous. We know two words and now we are going to put it into a sentence. Now, do you notice that my words have a little space right here with the finger? Do you see that? That's very important because if we don't put our finger right there, then our words will be all smushed together. And then we cannot read them. Let me show you what that would look like. Oh, that looks very weird. No, 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 no. We have to have a space right here. So, I see. Oh, I'm going to put this in a sentence. I see my elephant. <laughs> do you have an elephant? I do. Okay, that would be a fabulous sentence and I could add to that if I would like to. So today you will practice writing C. If you want to add I C, you can do that or you can just put C. So you have two choices. You could just write C and practice, 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 S-E-E, -E, and read the word C, and you could continue to do it. Or you could write I, finger space. Make sure you have a finger space. Don't put anything there. And C, I see. You have two choices. Do it however you would like. Now let's go ahead and add one more word to the end. I see you. <laughs> That's a sentence. Wonderful. Now, I would like you to go and practice, practice, practice writing your word C and reading your word C. And if you would like to add in your other word I from yesterday, you can do that too. Hi-ho. Have a wonderful day. My unicorn is waiting.